Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. Let me just quickly start this video by addressing the elephant in the room, at least for anyone that has been following my channel, and that is my voice. I have been sick for about a week now, but I hope it won't be too distracting for you. Anyway, in this video I thought I would show you every step on how to get going with Switch games running on your Steam Deck. And for the purpose of this specific guide I will use my dump of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So I will also show you the best settings and problem solving for that game as well. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. A quick disclaimer for anyone who's thinking of following this guide, you will need a few things to get it running, and that is the games of course, but you will also need original Switch firmware, as well as prod keys and title keys depending on if you're gonna play cartridge dumps or Nintendo eShop dumps. I get my files from my own custom firmware modded Nintendo Switch, but I won't be able to share any of these files with you, since that is simply illegal. But I will tell you the exact names if you want to use Google to find help there, and I will of course also leave links in the video description on how to dump these files on your own. So with that said, I have already prepared the files we're gonna need to get going. That is of course the game files, here containing of Super Mario Odyssey as well as the latest game update, and Link's Awakening with the latest game update as well. We probably won't end up using the game updates, but I want to include it anyway just to show you how to install them. There's a mix of XCI files which are cartridge dumps, and NSP files which are dumps of the digital Nintendo eShop games. I have also prepared my Switch firmware, which was version 15.0.0 when I recorded this video, as well as the prod keys and title keys I mentioned earlier. It's different keys for different types of Switch firmware, so regardless on how you get your files, make sure you get the right ones. And since I dumped my own, I know for a fact that it won't be any issues. And when I have my files, I just drag and drop them to a USB thumb drive and eject them from my computer. On your Steam Deck, click the Steam button and scroll down to Power and then switch to Desktop Mode. The emulator I use for Switch games on Steam Deck is called Yuzu and I install it through through Emudeck, since that's the most convenient way. By installing it through Emudeck, it set up the game paths and configure the controls etc for you. I have several videos up on my channel on how to install emulators, so pause this video and go and check those out if you don't know what to do. And once you have Jusu installed, start it up and you will be greeted with a warning message that says you are missing encryption keys. That's the prod keys and title keys I have been talking about before. So the first thing we have to do is to locate the folder where we need to drop our prod Prod keys and title keys. But before we locate the folder, insert your USB stick containing all the files we copied over from our computer. Mount and open your USB stick, mine is named Steam Deck here. Select both prod keys and title keys and copy them. And for some reason I didn't capture the exact path to where to place the files, but if you install Yuzu through Emudeck as I did, it's in Emulation, then BIOS, then Yuzu, and then Keys. And if you, like me, have a file named Title Keys Auto Generated, you can just delete that file and then paste your real title and prod keys files into that folder. Head back one step into your Juzu folder and choose the firmware folder instead. Here you just want to drag and drop your zip archive containing your Switch firmware. No need to extract it or anything else. Once that is done we are now finished with setting up our emulator and now we need to install our games that we also have on the USB. We're also gonna download a few mods to get the game to running as smoothly as possible. So just copy my steps here, head into your USB and copy all your games from there. Then open your Emudeck installation location, in my case it's the SD card named Primary. Go into Emulation, then ROMs, then switch and paste your game files there. Once that is complete, open up Juzu again and you will now find your newly added games in the list. Now, as I've said, before we play, we want to download a few mods that will drastically improve performance. But first, I want to show you how to install game updates. And what I like to do is to simply drag and drop my game update files to my Steam Deck's desktop. Simply because it's easy to find them from Juzu. Once you have your files on your desktop, open up Juzu and click on File and then install files to NAND. 
Simply install your updates one by one until complete. You can now see under the add-ons column that the latest updates are applied to its respective game. If you for some reason, and we might actually have, don't want a game update applied, you can simply right click the game, select properties and untick the box next to the update or add-on that you don't want to use. And the reason we don't want to have the latest update applied to Link's Awakening for example is that the FPS mod that we're gonna download and install now only works with version 1.0.0 of the game, at least according to the developer. Developer. So to download mods, open up your browser and google search for Juzu mods and hit the first link. I will leave a link in the description to this video as well. On this site you will see all the games that currently have mods developed for them. Mods can be everything from performance boosters to cheat mods or problem solvers. And since we're here for Link's Awakening mods, I'm gonna scroll down to that game straight away. And to get Link's Awakening run as good as possible, you want to download and install both the blur removal mod as well as the stable. 60 FPS mod. And keep in mind that Link's Awakening probably still won't run in stable 60 FPS, but at least we unlock the possibility for it to hit 60. What you want to do now, and it's important that you do as I say, is to go to your downloads folder where your newly downloaded mods can be located. They are in zip format and you need to extract them as I do here and then copy them and paste them into your Yuzu mods folder. In this example with Link's Awakening I have already installed the 60fps mod as you can see and to get to the mods folder you right click on the game you want to add mods for and then choose open mod data location. Simply drag and drop or copy the mods you want to install for that that specific game and then close the window. Right click the game and select properties and if you have done it right you can see your mods in the list. And for Link's Awakening I want the FPS mod and blur removal active but I'm gonna deactivate the latest game update. To add your Switch games to your gaming mode interface you're gonna use Steam ROM Manager that we got as a tool included with the EmuDeck installer. I have shown this a thousand times already in other videos but in short open it, choose which emulators or parsers you want visible in your game library, hit pre Preview, then generate app list and when it's done fetching art for your games make sure it got art for the Switch version of Link's Awakening and not the Game Boy version as mine did here. If it did just swipe among the art to get to the right one and then click save app list when you're satisfied with the results. And there's one more important performance improving thing we need to do before we start the game and that is to install power tools from EmuDeck installer. So open EmuDeck, click on tools and stuff at the bottom and type in your Steam Deck pseudo password and then hit OK. It will take a while and then it will say power tools installed. I have already done it so I'm not gonna do it in this video but after that head back into gaming mode. When you have launched the game, click the button to the right of your Steam Deck with the three dots and you will have a new icon that looks like a power cable. Scroll down and you will find your newly installed power tools. Open it and turn off SMT. You don't need to do anything else. And a fair warning on this, anything you do with power tools is at your own risk. So if you screw anything up here, Valve likely won't help you out. And before I end this one, I want to give you two bonus problem solvers for Link's Awakening. Chances are that you will face this problem when trying to launch the game. A warning saying ROM format is not supported. Or maybe you can start the game, but when you play you get these weird rendering issues with the chain stomp not visible. Both problems are easy to fix, but it requires you to get back into desktop mode. The first issue with the ROM format not supported is because we have special characters in our game file name. So head into the folder where we put the game and in this case remove the single quote between K and S in Link's Awakening and after you have removed it you also need to open Steam ROM Manager again and hit preview, generate app list and then save app list. And for the issue with the missing chain stomp, it's also very easy to fix. Right click on the game and select properties, then go to the advanced graphics tab and under accuracy level swap from whatever you have there to high and then click OK. And that's been it for this guide on how to get going with Switch games on your Steam Deck. Apart from how to install your Switch firmware and title keys, we have also learned how to install game updates and performance improving mods. We have also installed the Power Tools plugin and together with the previously mentioned mods we get stable FPS even up to 60 in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Remember that different Switch games might need different mods and tweaks to run solid. I really hope you liked this video and that you can let me know by giving it a like or a comment. Also consider subscribing to my channel as it really means a lot to me. Catch you in the next one, thanks for watching.